from the greatest scam in World Cup history to the time Thierry Henry bagged the curse of the Irish. These are the 15 times football players were caught cheating. And wait till you see the time Sergio Ramos secretly took out a dude in the biggest game of his life. But first up, Messi was stealing points against his city rivals. Back in 2007, Messi was still starting out at Barca when they faced city rivals Espanyol in the league, and the match was heated. The Espanyol defense had men behind the box, and with Barca trying to break through, they knew they needed something special if they were going to grab all three points, and Messi literally reached out to touch it. Is it just me, or does this video of Messi hitting a flying handball look like a cutscene from Puss in Boots? Either way, Messi's handball won't be the first time I've seen a player trying to cheat his way through to get an advantage for his team. Harry Kane was doing the exact same thing years later. Liverpool vs Spurs in 2018, and it was epic popcorn stuff. Spurs launched an attack, and once Harry Kane went in behind the Liverpool defense, he took one heavy touch and realized the ball had gone slightly too far. So he decided to make the most out of the situation by switching sports mid-game. Man, someone give Kane his gold medal straight up, Olympic world swimming champion. Some dives look ridiculous, but nothing beats the time Luis Suarez cheated his way to the biggest comeback in Champions League history. La Remontada, remember that? Yeah, that 6-1 Barca comeback. Well, here's the thing, it should have never happened. Barca knew they needed to score at least four goals to stand any chance of winning this one. And it seems like they already had a plan, that if they couldn't do it legally, well, Suarez was prepared to fake his way to it. Come on, man, nothing. He bought that and sold the ref on it. Guess the ref was too gullible. Chiro Immobile tried the same thing years later and just couldn't cut it. Italy vs Belgium in the Euro 2021 quarterfinals, and Chiro Immobile was trying to give his Italian team the advantage when he played dead with the Belgian defense and pulled off a Jesus right after his team scored. A miracle! To be fair, that Belgium team has seen a lot of play acting over the years, but nothing quite pisses them off like the time Mbappe tried to mess with their heads in the biggest game of their lives the 2018 World Cup semi-finals. And with Belgium losing to France and time running out, Belgium began to up the tempo in the second half and started pushing everything to it. But my boy Mbappé was way too chill to take it seriously. And in the heat of the game, he wanted to start a hoop challenge with the ball. But let's just say, Toby wasn't interested. Dude knew what he was doing, man, time wasting bought the foul or played it, just like Ramos cheated his way to getting his opponent sent off in 2017. Real Madrid was thumping Juventus in the Champions League final, and with a few minutes left, the Juve team was trying to get one back to at least give their fans something to cheer home about. But Ramos was determined to make sure that wasn't going to happen, so he whipped up his bag of evil tricks again. And once he felt contact from Juan Cuadrado, the dark artist was in full swing. Crazy thing is, this ain't the only time Ramos has pulled off something like this, because one year later in 2018, he ruined the biggest night of the Egyptian king's career. When Liverpool faced Real Madrid in the 2018 Champions League final, all eyes were on Liverpool star man Mohamed Salah. Seemed like everyone was keeping tabs on him, including Sergio Ramos. See, Salah came into this match on the back of a crazy goal-scoring streak. And once Ramos realized Salah could pose a danger to his team in completing the Champions League three-peat, the Dark Assassin was out again. And just like before, he made sure Salah's night ended early. That wasn't an accident. Watch Ramos pull Salah's arm in the tackle on purpose. Sergio Ramos would do anything to win, just like his former teammate at Sevilla, Danny Alves. And this guy pulled off a fake in front of over 70,000 people just to dunk on his opponent. Now, I don't think I gotta explain this one to you. El Clasico is the most heated game in the world. 
Back then, it was an all-star show, with ballers like Messi, Ronaldo, Ramos, Julio, and Danny Alves. Once the tackles started flying in, Alves knew if he didn't do something quick, Real Madrid had enough crazy defenders to make sure all the Barca players left the stadium in crutches. So once he saw the opportunity, he reeled Pepe in, made him eat the bait, and watched him get sent off with an Oscar-winning performance. No contact, he made the ref buy that. This dude is shady to the max. I've seen David Luiz do the same thing to his teammate. Manchester United vs Chelsea in 2012, and two Brazilians were on opposing teams. David Luiz was playing for Chelsea, and Rafael was playing for United when they clashed. Now, Rafael was already on a yellow card, and David Luiz knew that. But I guess that Brazilian Samba love doesn't cross borders, because cheated his way to getting Rafael sent off. You know, I used to think it was only outfield players that did the heavy cheating, but even goalies are in on the action too. Ter Stegen got away with one on home turf. In 2019, Barca was facing Dortmund away from home in the Champions League when Dortmund got a pen. Marco Reus placed the ball down. And come on, man, it's Reus, FIFA cover star from 2017. There's no way he was gonna miss. Seems like Ter Stegen knew this too. So he made sure to stay one step ahead and deny Reus, literally. Yup, his foot was off the line, and that's illegal. Same thing with Marvin Hitz butchering up a penalty shot to make his opponent miss. Modest slipped? Of course he did. Marvin Hitz already knew that, the German version of the Joker. But the thing is, guys, when it comes to sabotage, some moments are just hot tier. You don't have to take it from me, though. As Thierry Henry, after bagging the curse of the Irish in 2009. France was facing Ireland in a World Cup qualifying game. And against the odds, Ireland was giving the French team a proper game. France were the favorites and knew they had to win on home turf because the stadium was packed and the pressure was insane. But they just couldn't seem to find a way through. Until minutes before the end of the first half, Henri took matters into his own hands, literally. Somehow, the ref didn't see that. And after a nil-nil draw in Dublin, France qualified for the World Cup and knocked Ireland out. I'd bet Henri won't be going on vacation to Ireland anytime soon. Just like Maradona never went back to England after he had the Queen using cuss words on live TV in Mexico. 1986, the World Cup quarterfinals, England versus Argentina, and the entire world was watching. Maradona needed to perform, else England would make Argentina look stupid and knock them. And that's when he performed a once-in-a-lifetime trick that made him the most famous man in Argentina and the most hated man in English national team history. The hand of God, divine, a World Cup special. Because right after Maradona introduced cheating to the game, he had next generation players looking to buy fouls for their team, like Ronaldo in 2016, when he pulled off a Maradona 2.0 and changed sports mid-game. Real Madrid was facing Manchester City in the Champions League semi-final second leg, and Ronaldo was up for it, literally. His teammates kept swinging crosses in, but most of them were overcooked. And at one point, Ronaldo became so fed up that he decided to channel his inner LeBron and hit a slam dunk at the Bernabeu. I'ma tell Darvin Ham to sign Ronaldo in the next draft for the Lakers. What a jump! Ronaldo's been on the scene for illegal stuff like this before, man. In 2006, he was trying to win his team a foul by diving his way through the World Cup of that year, and Portugal was facing Germany in the group stage. At the time, Ronaldo was starting to make waves in the game, and instead of goals back then, he just wanted to dribble the living daylights out of defenders. As the game went on, Ronaldo figured that his country needed a goal, so he went on a mazy run, but soon realized he'd overdone it and was about to lose the ball. When he had the crazy idea for a split second to try and buy his team the advantage. Roll it back, the dude didn't even touch him. 
didn't know CR7 was two timing as a dolphin back then, because that dive is outrageous. Still, can't call CR7 the bad guy. At least he's already subscribed to Goal Zone. Can't argue with that.